Hey Sammy fam, I'm headed down to Popeyes today. We're gonna try the new blackened chicken sandwich. Hopefully it's really good. I have high hopes and we'll give a you know honest report on if it's worth your time or not. If it's worth your money. Let's see if it's any good. I'm mainly just worried about the sodium, honestly. Oh damn, they need to fix their sign. Alright, the sign on the outside might be a little busted, but that is the cleanest most pleasant Popeyes I have ever been in. Uh, it's the only time I've been in a Popeyes where I think there wasn't someone actively yelling or fighting someone. Uh, so, really nice experience so far and I haven't even gotten to the food. Smelled good though. I got one blackened chicken sandwich, uh, classic or mild flavor I guess you call it, and I got one spicy one which I'm assuming will probably be my favorite. Got a little fries on the side, always nice. And I got my wife a, a red beans and rice because that's her favorite and she deserves it. So let's go try it out. Scooch in here real quick. Ew. Oh, hey, kitty. This is my cat, Miso. Um, he is interested in the Popeyes, I guess. Um, buddy, I need to, like, get my food out. Would you let me do that? You can wait back here. No, no, no. You can wait back here. You can watch. Great experience, Popeyes. Okay, I don't blame the cat. It smells really good. No, 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 no. No, you just got your lunch. Some napkins and some loose rice in here. They didn't quite seal up the um, the rice and beans, so it leaked a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we got our fries and a little eight-piece nugget box. No, you, you don't get to have the, f why are you so pushy? Very good. It is very good. I don't want to wear my Fitbit during this. This has so much sodium. It'll probably make my heart rate go crazy. Okay, back it up. No means no. You gotta learn about consent. We got fries. We got one sandwich here. Not really a looker, but you know, Jesus. Sir, can I have some personal space? sauce three pickles i like pickles with my chicken and it's so like coated in seasoning it's almost like a breading but like healthier so i'm excited about that we got our other sandwich oh my god look how juicy and big this chicken is kitty you can watch it's got like a whole tail to it that's crazy I love these fries. They're one of the few fast food places. It does like a properly seasoned fry. And that really makes me happy. Like, they only have the good fries. I know I already said I uh, like Carl's Jr. Hardee's, but maybe Long John Silver's, but it's been so long. It's been like eight years since I've had Hardee's. But it's been. 20 years since I had Long John Silver's. Last time I had Hardee's, I was walking across America. I had to stop and I ate like two, kitty. Miso, stop it, buddy. Poppy is trying to do his job. I'm sorry. Oh, let's try this chicken. I don't know if this is the spicy or if this is the regular. I think this is the regular because the sauce is like white instead of yellowy. But I love how this chicken doesn't look like factory made. Obviously, it probably was made in some sort of, you know, large food operation. But it's more real looking because it's not just a puck. Okay. Okay. 
not for you, for the camera. Right off the top, juicy, flavorful, way more moist than you expect white meat chicken to be. Like, I'm usually thighs only man, because I need that dark meat. Dark meat has more fat, has more juice, has more flavor. But you can cook breast meat right and get it get it good and juicy. It's just most people don't know how don't know how to do it. But this is good. And then secondly, we gotta beyond just the texture and the juiciness, the like the seasoning, the coating. Oh my god. Let me get another bite so I have it fresh in my mind. With the pickle. So, notes, you know, not even just notes, blaring horns of pepper, paprika, garlic, probably like smoked paprika, probably a little cayenne in there, but this isn't the spicy one, so it's not really hot, they're just little hints of, of spice. And savoriness. I'm sure there's more going on, but it's really good. Let's just get the sauce on its own. Some kind of thick mayonnaise. Not bad. Let's go for the spicy one. You can see here it's got the spicy sauce on it. Mmm. Juicy, steaming, cooked for perfection, to perfection. Um, I definitely prefer the spicy one. That being said, it is not spicy. I would say it's just slightly more flavorful, has a little hint of heat to it. One thing I'm worried about is the sodium. They are very salty. They don't taste. They don't taste bad, like overly salty, but. To me, salt is too much of a component of the flavor as compared to like garlic, paprika, other things. But I was pleasantly surprised by the calories in these. It's actually, um, kick it to me out in the field uh, for a video I recorded right after I Googled the nutritional information on these sandwiches. Hey, Sammy fam, so I was just on the website of uh, Popeyes because I'm going to be trying the blackened chicken sandwich today. So I was trying to like figure out how many calories are in it so I know how much I have to exercise. So what I'm out doing right now, taking my walk, trying to get like 15 miles in about. Um, but when I first loaded it up, it said like 1,010 calories per sandwich. Like, oh my god, how are they squeezing this many calories into a blackened chicken sandwich? I thought the whole thing is like it doesn't have bread and it should have a lower amount of calories. But, a little print down at the bottom. Oh, that's a whole entire combo meal, which I assume is like a large, you know, soda and a fries or something with it. So, I'm not getting that. I don't really drink soda. I might get a fries on the side. But, sandwich itself, 550 calories. That's great. I'm so excited to try it. Let's go back and do it. So yeah, 500 something calories, perfectly decent lunch then, as long as you're not eating too much sodium the rest of the day. Mm. Have a salad for dinner or something. The one thing I find myself wanting is more pickle. It's hard to get pickle in every bite, but the way that I like to do that with chicken Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Is in the brine. These are so juicy, I assume they probably are brined somehow. Probably mainly, you know, salt water brine. But I like to really get flavor into the chicken when I make it for like a sandwich like this. 
And I do that by soaking it in a brine that usually consists of either like a lot of hot sauce mixed with um, buttermilk. And you can also use ingredients like pickle juice. Pickle juice makes an excellent brine. I mean, it makes your chicken taste amazing. And then every single bite has a little bit of pickleness to it. That's my secret weapon in making like fried chicken is pickle juice. But that being said, I'm not complaining. I'm just spitballing on ways it could be even better. But this is, I was about to say, a top 10 right, fast food chicken sandwich, but not even top 10. It's like top one. Now, the new question has to be, is this better than the fried chicken? So, I'll have to do a comparison of that. The Popeye's fried chicken sandwich versus the blackened chicken. And I'll probably have to go with the spicy on both of those to keep it even playing field. The spicy version is always my favorite. Not that this is bland or anything, just it needs a little more kick. Mm. Huge props to the Popeye staff, though. When I ordered it, they didn't just reach back and get it off, you know, the warmer tray or something. They hollered back and had some freshly made. Mmm. And I always really appreciate that. It tastes so much better than going to, you know, like a McDonald's and you order a burger or a chicken sandwich or something and they already have it sitting there on that little, like, sandwich slide, you know, with like a row of every different type of sandwich and they can just grab it. I do love that dream from Popeye as well. I generally don't like to eat fast food just because of, you know, I'm an adult man. I got to worry about my sodium. But if I have to, or if I'm just having, you know, one of those few days a year where you're like, you know what, let's just kind of slum it a little bit, treat ourselves to something simple and good. It's going to be Popeye's or it's going to be Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't make my worst enemy eat a McChicken. Terrible sandwich. I'm so sorry to all the lovers of McChicken, but it does not compare to this. This is amazing. And I have no feelings whatsoever about like the weird Burger King like long chicken sandwich they used to do. I don't even know what they're making now. But this is juicy, tender, flavorful. The bun has a nice touch of sweetness to it, but not too much. The pickle gives me just the amount of, amount of acidity I need. I 
And I honestly don't miss the burning. And the joy of knowing that this meal right here is only, I don't know, two, 550 calories plus fries. What's that? 1300, 1400 calories. That's all I'm going to eat for the day. And I've already burned like 3000 a day exercising. So I feel great. I feel ecstatic about that. Definitely worth a try, guys. Eating this all at once does have me very full. I have a quick lay down afterwards. And I know I need to go and wash up my face a little bit. I have my hands. And I need to go get my cat a treat. Because I'm afraid he's mad at me that I denied him the pleasure of chicken. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. I can get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ.